Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous videos we have created a demo app and uh, we have talked about uh, different uh, supported types, the account types. So we have selected uh, my organization only since we are dealing with uh, only one tenant. And uh, we also talked about uh, certificates and secrets. So we added one secret as you can see here. And we also talked about authentication and uh, different types of platforms that we can add. And we also uh, talked about uh, expose an API and we have uh, created the permissions accordingly. So if you click that, so we have created this one, which uh, admins and users can concerned. So coming to this video, we'll be talking about adding a scope requiring admin concerned. So it will be only admin uh, in this case. And in the end of the video, I'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description for you to watch so that uh, it will be helpful for you to get more knowledge. So let's go ahead and start. So similarly, uh, so it's the same thing that uh, we have done before. So we have to add the scope. So click that and uh, coming to the scope name. So previously we have given, uh, I think read only. So as you can see, it's only read only that uh, we have gave permission where uh, admins and users can concern. But uh, since we are dealing with uh, highest privilege where you can see if, if you read here, this determines whether users can concern to the scope uh, in directories where users consent is enabled. So we have to select admin only if it is higher privileged permission. So right now we are dealing with higher uh, privileged permission where uh, the employees can write all. So I'll be adding that uh, scope name first. So we have uh, added the scope name and you can see it has been added uh, after our API. And uh, coming to the admin concerned uh, display name, let's add that. So let me add that write access to the employee records and uh, admin consent description so let me add that one too so you can see allow the application to have right uh, access to all the employee data so this is related to admin so we don't require to add this one you can leave it empty since uh, it is not required in this case so you have to just uh, make sure you enable it and uh, you have to just add the scope so click that so you can see uh, we were able to add uh, admins only as well as uh, ad admins and the users. So they have been enabled. So for admin only, you don't need really to require the uh, users because they are nowhere in the picture here. So whereas if so successfully we have uh, created these uh, two scopes and uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about managing app registration with the custom role. So I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, please share the video. Thanks everyone.